morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield, we traveled to the system of Sakharov to track down Maya Cruz. Once we finished speaking with her, we got a little bit more intel which we have now brought back to Aquila City, where we're going to turn it in at the rock. Today, we will head over to the system of Forum 3 to begin our hunt for the money man, Mr. Markarov. What is with all of these technicians and my ship? I have never seen technicians doing this before. Like every technician in the city is just in love with my ship. It's not that good, it's not that impressive. It's just a class A cargo hauler. But once again, I've got two, four, six, seven. Wait a minute, there's number eight. So there's two, three, number four, number five, six, seven. So once again, I've got all seven technicians from the city of Aquila checking out my ship. Okay. Elgin says I spend too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Yeah, she probably is. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Free Star Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? Uh, feels good to be out there making a difference. That's good to hear. Though I'm still not so, sure if it's what brings me. you by? Eh, let's see. Got another encrypted uh, slate going. Well, how's your program? It's going well so far. I think I'm close to a breakthrough. With enough data, I'll be able to tell you everything they're up to. Well, here you go, Hush. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this <laughs> is new. I kind of like this guy. Oh. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, Deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Oh, they do, but, you know, not as much business as I mean. See if we can get in here and figure out who's who. Oh. Okay. Surrender now. That's all you got. Pick up the ground drive. Emergency tap. Move. Still in one piece. Now. Excuse me. I'm really not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Yeah. What's your My problem is that I don't want to be saddled with a rookie deputy. That is who you are, right? We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I wouldn't take that personally. Probably just having a bad day. Sam Co. Never thought I'd see you again. Can't say I really want to, either. Not after you turned your back on the rest of us. I did what I had to do and I'm at peace with it. If you're gonna hold a grudge, that's your problem, not mine. I wouldn't count on Sam here to have your back, Deputy. 
He's likely to disappear on you just when you need him the most. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't have the time to babysit a rookie. Well... Because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. Seems to me you're making it harder than it needs to be. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're going to have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Well, let's go meet your Follow contact. Me. Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends? <laughs> like how? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm. Every hunter needs prey. It's a ranger's duty. Yeah, they're trying to take land from farmers, and I want to know why. Well, you know, it, it, but either one of these would work. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't think I want to go with that one. I don't want to... Uh... Because it might get a little awkward if my sister here had to arrest me. Well, there, there's an interesting little tidbit. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Mm. You know She's the me? owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. What do you think we May's can the key to, to this whole thing, but I don't know her. Maybe try to get on her good side? Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's going to want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. Oh. The Red Mile is incredibly dangerous. I just don't want to see you take a risk like that. Mm. All right. No time. It's your call to make. 
Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? The Freestyle Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Freestar Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and it's time to run the mile. Please, enjoy your time here at the Red Mile. No, she's just going to walk away from me instead of talking to me. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May. And I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Never heard of it. Yeah, Red Mile, never heard of it. Top answer. Oh, I've heard of it, but yeah. Never, never heard, of heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime... Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Mm. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Mm. It's quite a leap of faith that you're asking me to take. I have no particular love for Marco, but he is a business associate. So I must protect my reputation. Fortunately for you, I'm in a generous mood. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. If that's what it's Good. Been. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. Well, yeah, I'll definitely be coming back alive. Can I bet on myself? I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons <laughs> to place substantial wagers on your survival. Yeah, well... I'll be coming back alive. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Play by the house rules, or you'll find yourself on the other side of an airlock without a helmet. Buddy, I just agreed to run the Red Mile. Do you think I'm afraid of you? All the fun of Neon, plus betting on whether people are going to survive. Yep, these people are total winners. Well, you need something? Uh, see. Whatever you say, I'll be waiting. Value patrons and honor guests. For one brave soul, the hour of faith is at hand. Yes, a runner has come to test the Red Mile! Now is a chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not fear determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the 
beacon at the base of the tower you see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile. Shit, I got multiples of these fuckers. This weapon is useless.
is it that my pistol is doing more damage than all the others combined? May fortune smile on you today. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Yeah, well, you better stop messing with my unit or they're going to be If the Red Mile were easy, I'd go out of business. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. You'd rather go back to the days when this place was raided and plundered on a regular basis? Sure. The occasional pirate raid would set us back a bit. Though the pirates would... You made it. ...and the guests would return. You're back. Are you... okay? I'd fire the lot of you right now. I'd take my chances with the pirates. Well, it's not up to you. And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. How could you possibly... Maybe someday I can... Uh, but no. No. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. <laughs> People will be talking about this for a while. Hello. You're Sam. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Well, how non-committal of you. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There's a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, you're right, but... I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There's a mess of ugly out there, but my God, there's grandeur too. He is certainly not wrong. Mm. Yeah, yeah, if they don't come, it leaves more of the galaxy. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Exactly. You know, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration what is, is. this woman? 
going off the map and seeing if they're truly be dragons. Not one drop. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Aquilo City. But if you're gonna be name dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. Yeah, well, here's to discover. I couldn't ask for better company. Okay. I don't know about yeah. you, but a fella could on it. Let's get moving. I just need to go talk to May Divine here. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Yeah. He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Well, that's always good to know. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member. I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. Mm. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one, to be honest. I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Coe. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. To settle accounts, Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. 
I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? No, I don't. I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it to protect innocent Whatever people. road brought you here, your journey ends today. Big mistake, pal. Didn't even break a sweat. I guess we do this the hard way. Yo, my, uh, my pistol seems to be doing the best damage. Never mess with a co. I'm gonna end you! Oh, oh. Scratch one! And down! gonna be your day, pal. Oof. Really get your blood pumping, huh? Oh, another enemy down. Time to Chango. You got no idea who you're messing with. This is my favorite part. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Uh. We're the best there is! Me and my friend here are gonna <laughs> teach you manners. Another day, another bad guy.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to go through here and collect all the loot. All you. And we will see you next time on Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Have a good night, and don't forget to stop and smell the roses.